Hello everyone, Natalia is here for Lisa Horton Crafts. Uh, today I will show you how I made a flower pot shape card. So for this I um, scored a craft card and scoring, um, you can see the measurements at the top. And folding the card along the scored lines and there's another piece of the card. So on the, on the folded line I've measured a one and a half centimeters on both sides. I've cut the edges at the angle to create a flower pot shape. So here's um, another um, card and I'm gonna cut the same and to create a flower pot shape. So I'm again doing the same as the other one and at the top I've got one centimeters and fold it and I'm gonna adhere to the back of the pot. This way um, the card um, you, you can use a, you can write a sentiment to the back and also it will stand up. So here I'm gluing together. So here is the shape. So now I'm gonna uh, emboss the front of the pot using an um, embossing folder from the um, crafty magazine, Lisa Art and Crafts. And now I'm gonna blend some inks um, here I'm using gather twigs. So now we'll hit um, a strong tape to the both sides to create a pocket. I'm just measuring for myself to know where to put the tape. So I'm adhering at the top and gluing together. And I also cut out a piece of pattern paper uh, from the um, magazine. And at the bottom, I'm just measuring um, one and a half centimeters so I'm creating the same shape as a flower pot so now you can see it's the same size and now I'm gonna cut um, uh, four millimeters away for matting and layering and you can see now So now I'm using a little brush and blending some pink color ink to the um, pattern paper. Just clearing my brush and now I will adhere uh, the pattern paper to the pot with the glue. So here I'm using also uh, some 3D foam pads and going to the top of the pot. Here also uh, I've cut out some of the panel for the inside and now I'm using some sentiments and stamping the sentiment to the panel and also I'm using little uh, flowers from the stamp set and just stamping some flowers with different colors inks at the bottom. So I've used a lighter color pink and darker pink color and purple color. So here I'm blending some pink color ink around the edges and gluing um, matting and layering together to the craft card. So 
So here I already um, stamped and die cut some flowers and leaves. And now I'm adding some um, inks to the petals and to the leaves. So I've already done all of them. And now I'm positioning the insert inside of the pot. And just to note the, um, the space for the flowers to glue. Some of the flowers are um, gluing with the leaves together. And also some of the flowers I've added some uh, 3D foam parts. So now I'm just positioning and adhering um, some of the flowers to the top uh, panel. Here I realized I've put flower a bit too low and it's covering the sentiment, so I just uh, removed it and adhered slightly to the top. Here I'm adding um, more um, gutter twigs to the pot and adhering a little flower to the front of the pot. So here's the cut. So here um, got, I've decided to die cut little um, stamens and adhering them to some of the flowers. So here I'm using some of the gemstones, I'm using pink and purple colors and adhering them to the flowers. So here I will show you um, how uh, I've stamped and I cut flowers. So for this I've used a colored card and used those uh, three uh, flower dies and I cut them in the space. I already pre-cut out uh, die cut some uh, flowers from white card. So here I'm uh, using my stamping platform and using some magnets to hold the card and I'm adhering I'm adding some die cut flowers back to the cutted area and now I'm using stamps, flower stamps and adding them to the die cut flowers. So now I'm stamping and you can see this way I'm finding it a lot easier uh, to stamp and die cut the flowers. Here I'm doing again and I'm gonna use different a little flower from the stamp set. As you can see. So 
for the flower stand. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!